The cylinder and cone combination is an incredibly important one. This one is going to be the bread and butter of drawing objects. And by changing proportions, you can create a bunch of different things. Um, one that we used before, we created a mushroom using a, a sphere and a cone. But instead, we can make that a cylinder and cone combination and give a different feel to our mushroom because we're using a different basic shape. We can basically flip that upside down and create a martini glass. We can create the base of a wine glass with a cone and a cylinder. And the cool thing about doing these form combinations is that you don't have to be perfect at drawing all this stuff. You can create rockets and fireworks really quickly by changing the proportion. You can make a funnel. You can make an entire rocket. and so on, and maybe round out the top, give it a nose cone. You can do um, every bottle in existence basically this way, just by stacking up various cones and cylinders. And more or less, every single bottle has something to do with this. And even if it looks crappy like this, it's dimensional, and combining them can be fun. And then all you have to do is add an axis to it, and be a little bit more careful, and you'll start creating things that are much more correct and dimensional. If you need to, you can always go back to your basic shapes, and use your basic shapes to help you do deal with the proportions and the symmetry of everything. And there you have it.